Greetings, dear friends, and welcome to the Neoeco Airbrush channel. Our esteemed airbrush model, the NCT SJ83, has earned accolades for its exceptional performance across various tasks and has garnered widespread adoration. However, some users have encountered the vexing issue of backflow, which stands out as one of the most frequently reported concerns with this model. Today, I am here to delve into the intricacies of this problem, elucidate its underlying causes, and provide you with comprehensive guidance to overcome it. To delve deeper into the issue, let's start by exploring the fundamental working principles of airbrushes. Allow me to present a detailed 3D profile to aid in your understanding. At the core of the airbrush lies the air channel, serving as the conduit for compressed air sourced from the compressor. This air then flows through the channel, where it mixes with the paint. Concurrently, paint from the cup travels through an internal channel, reaching the front of the airbrush nozzle tip for thorough mixing. However, when leaks occur within the air channel, backflow bubbles manifest inside the airbrush cup. Now, where might these leaks occur within this intricate flow pathway? One common culprit is the inadequate tightening of the air cap, leading to air leakage between the gap of the air cap and the airbrush body. Additionally, the connection area between the nozzle and the airbrush body can also be problematic. Let's explore three types of airbrush nozzles to illustrate and provide solutions. Firstly, the tiny screw-on nozzle. Check this nozzle carefully, if the o-ring is damaged or broken, proper sealing will be compromised, resulting in bubbling in the cup. Secondly, our sizable auto-centering nozzle, as featured in the SJ83 model. This nozzle is designed to auto-center, however, if the air cap is not adequately tightened, a gap between the nozzle and the airbrush body may occur, leading to bubbling or paint splashes. Ensure proper tightening to avoid this issue. Lastly, the bullet-shaped nozzle, commonly found in airbrush models like our NCT-116B. This compression-fit nozzle requires careful attention to cleanliness, especially on the contact surface with the airbrush body. Any dirt or residue on this surface can impede proper sealing, leading to air leakage and subsequent bubbling issues. Maintain a clean and flat contact surface to enjoy seamless airbrushing without any bubbling problems. Another critical factor that can lead to air leakage and a bubbling cup is a cracked nozzle tip. Due to its thin wall, the nozzle tip is more susceptible to breakage compared to other parts. If the nozzle tip is cracked or damaged, it can compromise both the air channels and the paint channels, resulting in air leaks. Therefore, it's imperative to ensure that your nozzle is in good condition to prevent such issues from occurring. To summarize, these are the primary reasons why airbrushes experience backflow problems. Now, let's outline how to troubleshoot when encountering this situation. In approximately 95% of cases, the problem can be traced back to an untightened air cap. Thus, the first step is to tighten the air cap sufficiently to see if the problem persists. If the issue persists, the next step is to inspect the nozzle-to-body connection. For airbrushes with an auto-centering mechanism, ensure that the gasket is in good condition and that there are no leaks in this area. Additionally, check the nozzle for any cracks or damage. In most cases, addressing these issues resolves the problem. However, if the problem persists and you own a NeoEco airbrush, don't hesitate to contact us for assistance. We're here to help you resolve any issues you encounter with your airbrush. While backflow may pose an inconvenience, it also serves a purpose in aiding airbrush cleaning. For certain models like the SJ83, some users may encounter airbrushes that cannot be backflowed by simply blocking them, due to the presence of holes allowing air passage. In a previous video, I demonstrated a technique where you place your finger beside the needle tip, press the trigger, and draw it back. However, this method may pose difficulties for newcomers or those who haven't mastered the technique, potentially resulting in discomfort or injury. To provide a safer and more user-friendly solution, I'm delighted to introduce the silicone protective cap. Often included with most new airbrush purchases, this cap offers a hassle-free alternative. If you don't have one, you can find a link below this video to acquire it. When it's time to clean your airbrush, simply remove the needle cap, place the silicone cap over it, apply pressure with your hand, and then press the trigger to induce backflow. You'll observe the cleaner bubbling, indicating effective cleaning. Not only is this method highly efficient, 
but the silicone cap is also reusable, making it an indispensable tool in your airbrush maintenance kit. Give it a try and discover the convenience it brings to your cleaning routine. With these insights in mind, I extend my gratitude for your viewership. Until next time, happy airbrushing! How to airbrush tutorial video. How to clean and maintenance airbrush. How to choose the paint. Airbrush basics. All in Neoco Airbrush official web.